Hi there and welcome to another Bug Bites tutorial on Django and HTMX. In this tutorial we're going to look at how to build a drag and drop interface for our film list. You can see at the moment we've got now an ordering to our films from 1 to 5 in this case. We can still add new films to the list which get the maximum number plus 1 as their order. And what we can do now is we can drag and drop to different positions in the list and when we actually drop them you see that the numbers dynamically update to give the film the, the correct order. So this is all new and we're integrating this with Django's database. We can drag and drop things anywhere we want them and quite interestingly as well if we delete a film, let's say deleting this film that's just some random text, we'll get our confirmation but you'll notice that the films below it which have orders 4 to 6 they have their order dynamically updated to prevent any gaps in the ordering. So all of this is done through Django and HTMX. Some of this involves restructuring our database a little bit and our views, but we're going to walk through that. It's a bit dense, but I hope you get something out of the video and thank you for watching. So let's get started with the first section. As you can see, we have a list component that we've built so far and we can add films to that list as we want them. And as we add the films, they appear at the bottom of the list. So the newly added films are put to the bottom of the list. So what we want to do is work on how to get a better ordering of these films. At the moment, they are just displayed in the order that they were added, but a user might want to see this in alphabetical order, or they might want to be able to customize the order and have their very favorite film at the top, number one, and their second favorite in number two. And we would like to eventually be able to drag and drop these films around and we're going to work on that throughout this tutorial. So what we're going to do first of all is show a very simple way how to list this in alphabetical order. So if we go back to the code and we open models.py, this is the current setup of the models. We have the film model which has a name. This is what we want to sort by. So what we're going to do is add a model meta class and the meta class is going to have an attribute called ordering which we will set to name. Now what this is going to do is order the data by the film's name. So if we go back to the browser here, we should refresh the page and you see that it's now in alphabetical order starting from Escape from New York and going down to Raging Bull. Now there is one problem with this. If I add something random here that's lowercase, that's actually added to the bottom because this is case sensitive. If we add a film that has capitals, it will go to the right place in the resulting list, but it's the lowercase ones that don't. So what we want to do is we want to fix this. And Django's models offers a function that you can use to do this. I'm just going to copy the import. From django.db.models.functions import lower. This will lowercase um, all of the names before performing the ordering. So if we pass the name field to the lower function and then go back to the browser, you should see now that the lower case is fixed. So that's how you quickly fix that. Now we have things in alphabetical order, but let's get to the point in this tutorial and that's to see how to use drag and drop with HTMX. In the HTMX documentation, we've got this page for sortable. This is a JavaScript library that you can integrate with HTMX. And we're gonna add a sortable class to our um, list of films and we're going to see how that works now. So let's start by copying this code because we're going to use that and what we're going to do is go back to the code here. We're going to import this into base.html and within this script tag, now this is JavaScript so we need to do this within a script tag here. I'm going to paste that code and basically what this will do is on the load event it's going to search through the document for all elements that have a class of sortable. And then when it finds those, it's going to iterate over them and create a new sortable object. We don't actually need to know the specifics of this library. This is all really that we need to do. The only other thing we need to do is import the script for sortable from a CDN. So I'm just gonna do that here. And the link to this will be in the description. You can get this from the JS Deliver CDN. So now that we've got that, what we're going to do is we're going to change the film list to allow us to do the drag and drop. Now going back to the sortable documentation, or rather the HTMX documentation, which shows the example, you see that what we get here is the ability to drag and drop these items to different positions in the list. And that's what we're going to try and achieve now um, in our own project. And we're going to look at this here. 
So what we have is a, a form with a class of sortable. So if I go back to the code, we're going to change the list that renders this. It's a UL by default. We're going to change that to a form and we're going to give it a class of sortable. Remember, within the base.html, this query selector is searching for all classes of sortable. So we'll add it to our form here. And what we're also going to do is add some HTMX attributes. HX trigger, and it's going to be the sortable end event that we're going to listen for. And when we hear that event, we're going to send a post request to an endpoint. We'll just say sort for now, but we're going to create a real endpoint in the next tutorial. And finally, I'm going to copy the HX target here. And again, that's going to be the film list div. That's where we swap in the HTML. So that's all we need for the form. Let's go back to the example and the documentation. What we now have is a div with a class of HTMX indicator. Now this isn't this isn't actually necessary for drag and drop, but we're going to add it anyway, just underneath the form class. And this is an HTMX class that allows you to sort of show a message when a request is in flight and before it completes. It's not essential for this tutorial, but we'll put it there anyway. And finally, let's go back to the documentation again. What we actually need here is a div that encloses all of our objects. So within the for loop, which lists out each movie, we're going to create a div that will contain all of the inner HTML there. So within this for loop, and we'll end the div at the bottom. Can't type there, sorry. And finally, we'll also change the UL to a form. We, we change that from a UL to a form, so we need to close that off as well. So now within this div, we're going to do what we need to do for sortable to work. And that's we add a hidden input um, like so. So I'm going to copy and paste what I've got and then we'll explain that. Inside this div here, we'll just paste this input. And it's a hidden input, so we won't see it on the front end. We're giving it a name of film order, and that's what the endpoint that we post to will, uh, will use to get the data. And finally, we set a value that we're going to send to the endpoint, and that's the primary key of the film. That's all we should really need to do, I think, in order to get this working in a basic format. So if I refresh this page, you see that we can actually now drag and drop. Now we're not using HTMX at the moment. We're not changing anything on the back end. So when I refresh the page, the Godfather will no longer be at the top here, as you can see. But in the next section, we want to actually persist this in the database. And to do that, we're going to need to change the database models a little bit. So let's move on to that now. So let's look at the current setup of the models and the database. If we look at the models, you see that we have a film model and a user model and there's a many-to-many -many relation between the two of them. So users can have many films in their list, and a film can also have many users who have added it to their list. What we're going to do now is have a look underneath the hood at the database, and we can do this using VS Code's um, SQLite extension. If we open the Database Explorer, we are going to look at some of the tables here. Now we have a film table, which you see here just has one field, the name of the movie and it has an ID as well. And we also have the user table here as well. We've only got one user, and that's our user mark that we're using to log in. Now, what I want to do is show you what actually happens when you create a many-to-many -many field. Um, what happens is that implicitly, Django will create another table for you that is not represented by a model, but it exists under the hood in the database, and it's called a junction table. And as you can see, this table is what's used to track the many-to-many -many relationship. So both the models involved have a foreign key in this table to their parent model, so we can link the user ID to the film ID. Why is this useful? Because let's say we have this user Mark and he has seven films in his list, but there might be another user, um, let's say with ID 2, who also has film 36 in their list. So we can track this through the many-to-many -many field and the, the junction table in the database. But what we want to do now is Let's say for all of Mark's movies here, we want to add another column that is the order. We want to actually track what order has Mark got in the front end for this. Maybe we have Mulholland Drive at number one. We want to represent that in this table, but we need to add another column. So the question is, how do we add another column to a table that's created implicitly by Django? We're going to see how to do that now. Let's close the SQLite browser. And what I'm going to do is add another field to this users, and it's called through. We can specify another model in this through option. 
and it's going to be equal to user films. So we're going to create another model class called user films, and I'll do that down here class user films and it inherits from models.model. So the first thing we want to do with this uh, junction table is add the foreign keys to the two parent tables. So we'll add user and film foreign keys. This is done by the models.foreign key field. And what we now need to do is add our other field, and that's going to be order. And we're going to make this um, a, mo a models.positive small integer field. And that will give you values between 0 and I think it's 32,000. Let's see the documentation. It's 0 and 32,767. So it's unlikely a user is going to add that many films to the list and we can't have negative values so we're going to use a positive small integer field and that's going to encapsulate the order and then I want to also add another meta class here and we'll say ordering equals and in this case we're going to say the order. So we're going to order the results of queries to this table by the order field. Now what we need to do next is migrate these changes. But there is a problem here and I'm going to share this link with you in the description. But basically when you try and change many to many fields, Django will not like that. So there is a workaround to this which I'm going to walk through right now. Um, and I will leave this link in the description so that you can see what's going on. So what we need to do is we actually need to create the table before we create the through model. So we'll get rid of the through here and what we'll do is create this uh, here. So I'm going to close off SQLite Explorer. And let's stop the server and we'll make the migration. And this should create the new model user films. And we'll also migrate these changes. Now that will create in the database this table that links the two of them together. But what we now want to do is we want to actually add the through model. So we're going to create a separate migration for that. Again, this isn't something you would normally do, but in this case we need to do it because of Django's rules for many to many fields. So we'll create a through model that links to user films, which is this class, and then we'll create another migration. And when we try and migrate, we're now going to get an error. So you cannot alter that field. They're not compatible types. Now, let's go through the workaround very quickly. If you go to migrations and you go down to the, the migrations we've got here, the workaround actually says that we change the alter field to a remove field and then use another add field. So basically what we're going to do is um, we're going to remove the many-to-many -many field from the model and then we're going to re-add it again later. So that's the gist of it. Again, this isn't super important. Just work through the example and get it working. So it's going to be migrations.remove field and we'll get rid of that. And what we're going to do now is add the field back in with the link to the through table. Now I'll copy paste this in and we'll change the right fields. Again, this is not the, the important part of this tutorial, but it is something we need to do, unfortunately, to get this working. So if I paste this in here, this is what we removed from above earlier, and we'll make these model name is film, and the name is users. So with that done, we can now try and do these migrations again by running migrate. And you see that it goes through OK, and what that's done is it should have created the many-to-many -many table. And if we open the database in SQLite, and we see now that we've got a films, user films table. So rather than Django implicitly creating this from a many to many field, we've actually created our own junction table as a model. And now it's represented in the database. And if we show the table, obviously there's no data in that at the moment. But we're going to see later on that we can add data to this. And it has, in addition to the two foreign keys, the important part is it also has an order and that allows you to track for each user what order does the film appear in their list. So now that that's done, let's test the front end and we're going to see that the front end unfortunately is now broken because we have changed the structure of our database so there's going to be certain things that do not work anymore. Uh, first of all I need to run the server actually. And now if I refresh the page we don't have any films in the list. If I try and add a film, we see nothing happens and the reason for that is that we have a not null constraint failing. Um, the, the films, user films dot order so this new order field that we have, the way we normally create a movie did not take that into account because order didn't exist. So the not null constraints failing because we're not actually setting an order. So we need to do that and we're going to do that in the next section of the video. We're going to edit the views.py. Uh, we're going to edit the code within here to work with our new many-to-many -many field 
Um, so stay tuned for that.